Hey guys, this is Akshay Sura. Um, I've been working with Helix for the past couple of weeks and uh, one of the questions I guess asked constantly is, you know, how can I create a Helix-based solution from scratch? You know, I don't know of any tools which will let you do that. You could manually um, set it up, but Helix is all about folder structure and having projects, you know, in a specific way. Or, or you could go ahead and get um, a copy of Habitat and clean up uh, uh, that solution in order to fit your needs but you know that's really not the way I would ever do it um, is to use Habitat. I would use Habitat as a reference but not as a starting point. Um, so on the same line you know Mark has a couple of scripts which will let you add modules on top of an existing Helix solution but I wanted to come up with something from from scratch so I've been working on the script for the past um, couple of days and really excited to have a version 1 is it the perfect script? No, it's not. Is it tested? No, it's not. Uh, but it, it's a starting point and you know we can all contribute and hopefully make it better um, for our community. Uh, I was originally working on the script on outside of Visual Studio, but you know that I ran into things where I was modifying the, the solution and the project files as text files and that didn't sit right with me. But I brought it back into Visual Studio in the package manager console we could run scripts. Uh, it gives you greater flexibility and access to the current solution being loaded in the system, so it's it's huge. Um, so that's the starting point. I'm really excited to show you what I have. So um, I have an empty folder detesting. You know, I have some validation in the script, not you know perfect, but again, we can improve upon it. Uh, to run the script, we have something called Let's Rumble. Why not? Uh, notice a pretty ASCII art, so Helix Solution Script. It's going to ask us for the folder where we want to uh, where we want this to be created. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the testing. Now, one of the other things I would like to mention is using a regular uh, Windows partial script. I could do fancy things where we could, you know, show it, uh, a window for us to pick a um, you know a folder. But unfortunately, I, because we are inside of Visual Studio and in the console, we can't do fancy things like that. So we have to take text inputs at this point. So I'm going to hit enter. Next, it's going to ask you for the overall solution name. Now, this is typically your company name or your client's company name where you're going to have multiple sites. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Acme. Uh, and then next, it's going to ask you for the you know prefixes for foundation, prefix for feature. So this is what is used for namespacing, naming the foundation and feature projects. I would recommend use you know whichever your solution dot you know feature dot foundation. Uh, next, it's going to ask for project names. These are all the tenants or the sites which are going to sit on top of the Helix principle based solution, right? So it, I could have multiple sites for my company which I'm going to bring on top of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and give the names, right? So it'll maybe a B2B site, a B2C site. I might have a site named site one because why not? I might have another site named site two. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and get to the next one and this is all the foundation projects. So foundation projects are projects which are used in common um, across all the all the um, you know sites, right? So for instance it could be maybe you have an IOC setup or you probably have something to do with security. Um, you might have something to do with forms which is used across all the sites uh, shared between all the sites. So I'm going to get out of that. Next, these are features. Features are individual components which are independent of everything else, can function independently. So this could be you know, something like a hero. You might have something to do with social, maybe maps, maybe news. Uh, that should be good for now. Uh, here, it's going to give you, um, you know, an overall view of what is what, what you've selected. I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, this is fine. Go ahead and create. And what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and create the folder structure not only in uh, on the disk. So if you go into source, feature, hero, code, uh, and then hero tests, um, it will also, uh, you know, you can look at the different um, projects. You could look at foundation. And you know it keeps it consistent. And same thing with um, you know you have a 
web-based project for the hero and you have a class-based project for the test. So I've created the, the things which we chose, which are those are the four features. These are the four uh, foundation projects we wanted and these are the um, four projects we wanted. So each of the sites we want and the namespacing for each of them. So it's kind of very, you know, it's convenient. It's again, it's a good starting point for us. It's, is it the best? No, but it's a, it's a start for us and it's all built. Um, as you can see, the script ran in a couple of, couple of minutes. Uh, very straightforward. Again, I'll post this up um, on a blog post and hopefully people can contribute to it and make it better for all of us to start using the Helix principles. Thank you.